so we will discuss the sum of the problems on equivalent impedance of a single phase transformers coming to the problem number one a 220 by 110 volts 50 h 1.5 kV transformer so this is E1 and the 110 is E2 and the frequency is 50 h and the rating is 1.5 kVA transformer has primary and secondary winding resistance is SR1 is 1 ohm and R2 is 2 ohms so R1 is 1 ohm and the R2 is 2 ohms so see for this problem as we discussed so many times high voltage winding has high resistance so that's why this is E2 and this one is E1 okay high voltage winding has high resistance low voltage winding has low resistance while reactances of uh, this is 3 ohms right let's say this is called the X1 and X2 is 5 ohms find the total resistance equivalent reactance and equivalent impedance refer to primary and secondary so this is 110 volts by 220 volts transformer the R1 which is given is 1 ohm R2 is 2 ohms and X1, X1 is 3 ohms and X2 is 5 ohms and where K is the transformation ratio E2 divided by E1 that is 220 divided by 110 that is equal to 2 once again listen this problem you have to analyze a 220 by 110 volts uh, transformer but here the secondary winding resistance is given as 2 ohms which is more than that of the primary winding resistance that's why E2 should be taken as 220 E1 should be taken as 110 so the total resistance when referred to primary R1 plus R2 dash R1 plus R2 by K square what is R1 the R1 value is 1 and R2 value is 2 divided by 2 square 1 plus 1 by 2 that should be equal to 1.5 ohms and X01 is equal to X1 plus X2 dash x1 plus x2 by k square x1 is 3 ohms and x2 is 5 divided by 2 square 3 plus 5 divided by 4 so what is the answer is 5 divided by 4 plus 3 5 divided by 4 is 1.25 so that is 4.25 ohms then z01 is equal to Z01 is equal to R01 plus J times of X01 1.5 plus J times of 425 So apply this um, What is the magnitude of this means 1.5 square plus 4.25 square then you can apply root Finally I got it as uh, 4.5 ohms this is a magnitude of the Z1. So this is a magnitude of the Z01. And R02 is equal to this total resistance when referred to when referred to primary. This is total leakage reactance when referred to primary. This is a total impedance when referred to primary uh, so this is a total resistance when referred to secondary r2 plus k square times of r1 what is r2 value is 2 plus k square is 2 square into r1 r1 is 1 2 plus 4 that should be equal to 6 ohms and x02 is equal to x2 plus k square times of x1 x2 value is 5 plus 2 whole square into 3 x1 is 3 now 
4 into 3 12 12 plus 5 17 ohms then total impedance when referred to secondary R naught 2 plus J X naught 2 6 plus J 17 so if you want to find out the magnitude out of 6 square plus 17 square so this is magnitude is 18.027 ohms okay so this is called the magnitude of Z not to so coming to the next problem a 6600 by 400 volt single base transformer as a primary resistance of 2.5 ohms and secondary resistance of 0.01 ohms see it's a very simple as a primary side uh, you should observe the resistance r1 is greater than r2 r1 is greater than r2 r1 is equal to 2.5 ohms and R2 is equal to 0 0.01 ohms E1 is equal to 6600 volts and E2 is equal to 400 volts so what is the K value transformation ratio is E2 by E1 that is 400 divided by 60 6600 400 divided by 6600 that should be equal to 0 0.0 0.0606 0 this transformation ratio 0 0.0606 whole square 0.01 divided by answer plus 2.5 so your answer is 5.22 ohms and the R02 is equal to R2 plus K square times of R1 R2 what is the value of R2 0.01 plus K square is 0.0606 whole square into R1 is 2.5 0 0.01 plus 0 0.0606 whole square into 2.5 so then finally I got 0 0.019 ohms so this is the total resistance when referred to primary when referred to primary total resistance when referred to primary this one is total resistance when referred to secondary total resistance when referred to secondary so coming to the next problem a 5 kva 440 by 220 volts so s is equal to 5 kva so 5 into 10 to the power of 3 volt ampere 440 by 220 volts transformer r1 is uh, 3.45 and r2 is 0 0.09 so this is r1 is greater than r2 so that's why it is called the e1 and this one is e2 E1 is 440 and E2 is 220 volts and R1 is 3.45 R2 is 0 0.09 ohms X1 is 0.2 ohms and X2 is 0 0.015 ohms He is asking what is R01 what is R02 uh, total uh, resistance when referred to primary and secondary and uh, x01 and x02 is asking and one more equivalent impedance z01 and z02 so uh, all are the unknown values it's a very simple r01 is equal to r1 plus r2 dash r1 plus r2 by k square where k is a transformation ratio 
e2 by e1 220 by 440 that should be equal to 1 by 2.5 so r1 is 3.45 plus r2 is 0 0.09 divided by 0.5 whole square so using cals you can solve 0 0.09 0.5 square then I got it as 3.81 ohms and in this R02 is asking R2 plus R1 dash R2 plus K square times of R1 what is R2 0 0.09 what is the K square where K square is 0.5 whole square into R1 is 3.45 0 0.09 plus 0.5 square into 3.45 so 0.9545 ohms and uh, x01 is equal to x1 plus x2 dash x1 plus x2 by k square this is the total leakage reactance when referred to primary what is x1 now x1 is 0.2 plus 0 0.015 divided by 0.5 whole square is equal to 0 0.2 plus i am solving in calc 0 0.015 0 0.5 whole square then i got it as 0.26 ohms x02 is equal to x2 plus x1 dash what is x2 plus x1 dash 0 0.015 plus k square x1 the formula is 0 0.5 square into 0 0.2 0 0.015 plus 0 0.5 square into 0 0.2 Then I got it as 0 0.065 ohms. Then Z01 is equal to R01 plus JX01. So 3.81 plus J.26 ohms. And similarly, so this is 3.81 plus j.61 0.26 ohms z02 is equal to r02 plus j times of x02 this is the total impedance when referred to secondary so plus j.065 what is r02 value the r02 value is 0.9545 ohms you can find the magnitude and as well as the angle so Z01 angle also you can find out. So here also you can find the magnitude and the angle. Tinements of imaginary part by real part. Thank you.